What's up, everyone? It's Metro Game 75 here today. And today, we're playing Sakura Succubus 3. And now, before I start, this series is going to be like 9 to 10 episodes long. So, it's not going to be like a long, full series like my Nintendo Switch series of games I, I play. This one's just going to be like short. So, it's not going to be long. So, yeah, let's get into this. <laughs> Sakura Succubus 3. Alright. Whoa. Alright everybody, are you having a good time? Yeah! Yeah boy! <laughs> yeah, hey, Harry, that makes me super happy. Thank you for your continued support from the bottom of my heart. No problem! And that game will be to Williams. She's taking the championship, Williams wins. With a score of 62, William wins. Okay, Alright! <laughs> Thank you everybody. Thank you so much. When I'm still a beginner, I knew I couldn't afford to take a single fan of mine for granted. Your love and affection meant the world to me. You cheered me on, so I knew I had to keep going. I didn't want to let any of you down. If I did that, I wouldn't be able to call myself an idol ever again. My path was way hard one. It's a hard one, but I never gave up. I devoted my life, my very soul, to pursuit of being an idol. And now, I finally made it. Can anything stop this woman? Her strings of victory, victories is unparalleled. She's been playing professionally tennis for less than two years, but she's already made great waves in the sporting world. I think Hazel and I will become somebody to keep our your eye on in the future. I'm standing on this huge stage in front of thousands and thousands of people. And I've never felt more humbled in my life. You guys are my light. My light. My life. And I love. My heart belongs to every single one of you. And so, I'm just going to delicate this next song to you. This is my latest song. Single. Overflowing feelings. Let's go. I did it. I won. I can't believe it. Thank you for supporting me, everybody. I love you all. I'm going to keep doing my very best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's all applaud to Hazel with Williams, Japan's up and coming rock prodigy. Prodigy. <laughs> Sheesh. Alright, I think I've had enough of this. Ooh. Hey, what's up? What's the big idea? Yeah, Hiroki. What were you going what are you doing? I was watching that. Oh, were you? Were you really? I played my hands on my hips, unimpressed. Both Ayu and Hazel and I are seen in front of the TV in my small, cram apartment. They were fighting for the remote control about two seconds ago until I decided to step in. I snatched up the remote from Hazel's clutches before Ayu could. And now the TV screen is blank. I was getting sick of them swapping the channel over and over. I might have gotten a headache if things had carried on like that, for real. People get seizures from that stuff. You weren't really trying to watch the TV, you were just wanting to watch yourselves and your own accomplishments. Good grief. I sigh, still clutching my remote. I don't plan to give it back in a hurry. With great power come great responsibility, and neither of them are mature enough to handle it. What are the odds that they'd be airing one of your concerts at the same time as one of Hazel's tournaments? This is like a recipe for disaster. My concert, were, my concert was not a disaster. I even puffed her cheeks out and pout. It was wonderful, highly acclaimed, in fact. And my tournament wasn't a disaster either. Did you see how good I did? I, I was like super amazing. Don't you want to watch even more? It only gets better. I promise. No, he doesn't. Hiroki wants to watch me perform. No, he wants to watch me play. No, he wants to watch me. Me. Alright, fine. Let's sell this like adults. Hiroki, who stabs a finger in my direction. Who would you rather watch? So I get a choice. That's unusually considerate. I'm coming from Ayu. It's a shame it's too late now. I mean, I already have a headache. No shit. If you like, now hurry up. I'm a busy woman and I don't have all day. Alright, alright, fine. I heave a sigh, though I have a choice in this matter, supposedly. I don't think Ayu or Hazel are all are at all interested in my opinion. 
In any, in that case, does it really matter what I say? Oh well, let's give it a shot. Mmm, let's see. Right now, <laughs> no, we can't. Ah, between the two. Tennis. Mmm, tennis. I mean, I, I don't even know if that bitch is tennis. I used to rather watch you sing out of you. Ha! Oh, you pops her cheeks out proudly. I knew it between Hazel and I. I really am the uh, superior waifu. Now bow before me, Hazel. Lick my feet. Whoa, lick your feet. Your feet? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Hazel pulls a face. If I was a lady, you telling me that, I'd be slobbering over her toes in a heartbeat. But I don't feel quite the same way about you. Sorry, are you? Huh? Are you staggers back? Yes. What's wrong with my feet? Why wouldn't you want to lick them? Because they're all cracked and dry and stuff. You dance an awful lot, so they're probably all hard. Really? All hard? I bet Lady Yu's feet are way nicer. She's, since she's a princess, she sits on, my, on the throne all day. Her toes must be nice and soft. <laughs> why, why you? And you push your teeth together. <laughs> Look at his face, bro. <laughs> Looks like I have uh, quite unwittingly fanned the flames of this content even higher. <gasps> oh, brother. Come on, you two. Quit arguing. Can't we all try to be friends? <laughs> Are you pouts? Like I want to be friends with a muscle-bound Amazon like her. An Amazon? That's actually kind of cool. I wonder if I could crush a man's heart. A man's head between my thighs. I love to put my head between your thighs, Hazel. <laughs> I would definitely sure. I would, I would definitely do that for sure. But I guess it's um I guess it's unbecoming of me to argue so bitterly. I'm supposed to be an idol. It's my job to bring love and happiness to people. I must swallow my own discontent and put on a big smile. Kira! Hey, how you makes a peaceful sign with both hands all the fluttering of her only her big enemy eyes. I know this is just an act. How you despite her public image is pretty cost caustic, but it's an effective one. Nobody's better at turning on the charm than Aikuyu Ayu, known among her fans as Ayu Ayu. She can go from 0 to 100 about 0.2 seconds. Mm, faster than an average Tesla car, huh? <laughs> faster than an average Tesla. <laughs> Ooh, that's the pat patent. Are you are you weak? I've heard so much about it. You really are adorable, are you? It's no wonder you're so popular. Hey, what are you doing? Get off of me! I won't. You're too adorable. Don't baby talk me like. Hey, and don't put my don't put, don't you. <laughs> what am I even saying? And don't pat my head. You'll get my hair all messed up. Messed up. You dolt, idiot, garbage, worthless human refuse. Worthless human refuse. It's a bit much, even becoming even coming from you, don't you think? Moreover, Ayu and Hazel aren't real humans, though they might look at look the part. They are, in fact, sucky bee. I know, I know, it's hard to believe, isn't it? I had a pretty tough time when I first learned about the existence of Succubee and the Succubus realm. As it transpires, a lot of famous and successful women across the world are Succubee. Succubee harvests magical energy though, through intimidate relationships, relations, as the legends say. But they can also give gain energy through being like love, praise, and refer. As such, many Succubee, Succubee are driven to come to human world to seek out fame. Through a series of events too complicated to go into right now, I was able to meet five Succubee famous in various fields. First, I ran into Ayu, her full name's Aku, Ayu, and she's Japan's top idol. She acts sweet and cute on stage, but that's pretty much all for the show. She actually has a cutting tongue, and she can be incredibly harsh. Yikes. Next, I met Wakatuski, Marina. She's a revered businesswoman who runs a successful clothing company despite her, despite being rather young. She's an aloof, cool-head woman, but she's a sweetheart deep down. 
Then there's Cosmos Moretti. Cosmos is a half Japanese, half Italian girl who rose to prominence via social media. She has a huge number of followers on the image she shares website, Rapid Pound, where she constantly uploads photos of herself in various saucy outfits. Mmm, I wonder how saucy. There's also Yamamoto Hifumi, the famous actress. She's been in the entertainment industry for over a decade. And she's been loved by the general public for her calm, gentle demeanor. Finally, there's Hazel Williams. Hazel's father is an American, and I think she grew up there. She's an easygoing, laid-back woman, most of the time at least. She's a famous tennis star, and she practices almost every single day. These women all fell for me for one reason or another, and now I'm almost never alone. That's true. It's hard to give equal amounts of attention to five different women, particularly when they all have such busy schedules, but I think I do do a decent job of it. It's a challenge, but I've never been one to back down from those. Spending the time with all these clever, interesting, beautiful women is very rewarding, and there are perks to it, too. Right now, though, I feel at, at a bit of loss. I feel I'm flattered Are you. Hazel dropped by to pay me a visit, but it's getting pretty late. I have to go to work tomorrow, you know. I'm sure you do as well. Maybe we should postpone this a little get-together. What do you say? Huh? Postpone it? Hazel stares at me. Open mouth. But I've been looking forward to seeing you for ages, Hiroki. I've been so busy this month, last month. We barely had a chance to talk. Well, it's not like I really care about seeing you or anything. Ah, here we go again with the old Tisandri routine. Ali does this so often, she has it down to a fine art. Who does she think she's fully anyway? She might be able to trick her fans, but to me, she's incredibly transparent. But would it be a shame to go home already? I haven't already sp I haven't spent nearly a enough time with you yet. But don't you have an upcoming tennis tournament, Hazel? And aren't you re recording a new single, are you? I hate for you to jeopardize your careers for my sake. <laughs> You're always so considerate. That's why I love you so much, Hiroki. <laughs> oh, look at this word. <laughs> NTK. All you winces. Look at you. Dropping the L-bomb so quickly. That sort of love is so cheap. Don't you have any shame? Hmm? Hazel considers for a few moments. Then she says cheerfully. Nope. <sighs> I suppose I should have expected as much coming from a woman who never wears any underwear. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I just don't like it. Human beings weren't meant to wear underwear. It's unnatural. I don't think human beings were meant to wield rackets and hit balls across the cords. But there. But here we are. That's different. That's. That's. And this is this. You know, I feel strong about this whole no underwear thing. Are you? In fact, Hazel toys with the the hem of her. Plated skirt. I'm not wearing any underwear right now. Do you want to see? Well, uh, I'm not supposed to, I'm not opposed to the idea, but why would you? Why you? Are you grabs hold of Ayu's ponytail and tucks it in? Stop trying to make moves on Hiroki when I'm here. You don't come, you uncultured swine. Ooh. Eh, why can't I? We've done all sorts of naughty things together. I don't see why it should be such a problem now. It's a problem because you weren't, because you're not alone. You can't flirt with Hiroki all brazen like in front of me. It's a degenerate. Ho 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 ho. Here's a grins. So you are saying you never done anything degenerate with Hiroki, are you? Well, that's his. Hey, are you glance away? Her face is flush. In any case, I don't like watching you slobber over him. It's embarrassing. You, you really. You really need to learn some restraints. Ah, don't be like that. Are you, are you, if you, if you got a problem with me being lovely dovey with Hiroki, why don't you join in? Huh? Ah, steps back. Why is, what's this nonsense? It's not like I want to hold him or kiss him or anything. You have thrills with the sun react. See this? <laughs> I'm sure you don't. <laughs> You're so cute, are you, even when you don't, even when you, when you don't mean to be, you can say the meanest of things, but deep down you're still an innocent little girl. I'm not innocent. Ah, oh, damn, I passed that shit. I know how to flatter men as well as the next woman. I just don't because I have more self-respect than that. It's not like I want to lavish attention on Hiroki or, or anything. 
does that mean you don't mind if I leverage attention onto him instead? No. Um, if you're going to do that, you'll probably make all sorts of amateur mistakes. You're too clumsy. Really, Hazel giggles. I think I'm pretty good at handling balls myself. No, 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 no. I met Hiroki before you did, and I'm the one with real experience. I'll show you how it's done. You're a big, you're big and brutish and clumsy, so you should probably sit this one out. Let me put the, let me put it in terms. You understand? Even with that empty head of yours, you're being bench. <laughs> getting fisty, getting fisty now, aren't we? That's cute too. I love how handsome guys, but cute girls are also great. Being scolded by Japan's top idols getting me excited. I can't hold back any longer. Uh oh. Hiroki. Hazel. Hiroki. Ah. Things are sure are escalating fast. I guess it's expected. I guess it's to be expected given these girls are sucking me, but still. Would it, would it kill them to give me a bit of time to prepare my heart? Hey, time out. You guys, it's really getting late. So if we could just settle this score another day then. No, we can't. We're going to sell it now. Who came to make you feel better, Hazel or I? We need to figure that out this instant. It's competition. <laughs> this sounds like fun. Let's give it a go. Uh-oh. Later that night, cuddle up with as Ayu and Hazel. I have a dream. It's a very gentle dream of nostalgic rarity. It's a dream of something that has happened to me once more than a decade ago. In my final year of high school, there was a girl in my class called Yuki. She was, she was a transfer student and she didn't have any friends. Though she was pretty and good at academics, she was cold and icy and kept everybody at a distance. Myself included. A few guys tried to tax her out, but they were roundly rejected. I never thought I'd have a chance with her, so I never even contemplated the idea. Time passed, as I never spoke to Yuki. She soon faded from my mind. That is, at least, until I received a letter from her in my shoe locker. Meet me on the, on the rooftop after school. I have something very important I need to discuss with you from Yuki. The letter had been written in a neat, elegant script. The characters seem feminine though, feminine, feminine enough, but I had my doubts. Would Yuki really send me such a letter? It seemed unlikely. There was no way the real Yuki, that ice princess, would ever want to talk to me after school. It must have been a setup by the rest of the, my classmates. I was certainly it was one big elaborate prank. That's what I told myself. But I went to the school roof regardless. I was curious. I'll admit, my heart was pounding pretty hard at the time. Kept telling myself, what if? But I knew I was being silly. There was no way it was really her. But it was. There she is. She was waiting for me on the roof after school. She turned to me, her dark hair fluttering in the breeze, and said, I've been waiting for you. I have something very important I want to tell you, Hiroki. I love you. I was utterly outstanding. Outstanding, as you might expect. I never imagined Yuki would say such a thing to me. Of all people, it was impossible. It must have been a dream. But though I pitched myself, I didn't wake up. Yuki's white alabaster face didn't waver. She had been written me that letter, and she had confessed to me. We had exchanged less than five words in the past, but she has been sincere. She loved me. I knew a little about Yuki, and I doubt she knew much about me. We've been in the same class for most of the year, but we were relatively strangers like everybody else had avoided her. If she ever started to stare at me, Longly, longly, I never noticed. I thought she loved me. I never thought she was loving me. I was wrong. I accepted her confession, and she kissed me. After that, we started going out. She was my first girlfriend, and though I didn't know much about love, I did care about her a great deal. I thought we would stay long, stay together for a long time, but that's something else I, will, I was wrong about. I haven't seen her in years. I wonder what she's doing now. Was she able to find happiness like I have? If so, I'd be pleased for her. She was an aloof girl. 
and she seemed to find it hard to make friends. I would have wanted her to be lonely. Now that's strange. Why am I thinking about Yuki at, at a time like this? The next morning. Beep, 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 club. Ugh. I pull out my pull out my slumber by the familiar tiny beeping of my alarm clock. I get up, stretch, and shut off the hateful device before it make my headache worse than it already is. I feel even more tired than usual. I must have gone to bed last, late last night. Snatches off the previous evening returned to me in bits of and pieces as I tried to shake off my sleepiness. Ayu Hazel came over. Arguing over the channel, had a bit of a fight, which then descended into a competition to my curry favor. One thing led to another, and then, well, it's no wonder I feel so tired. Ah, I yawn. It's hard being popular, but I doubt this is, but I doubt this is a problem many men would sympathize with. In fact, I'm sure most men would kill me if they knew how lucky I am. I do wonder where Ayu and Hazel are now. Though so maybe they left already. They stayed with me pretty late last night. I feel a bit bad about making them go home on their own. I'm not sure if the streets are safe for a couple of women. I mean, there's gonna be tons of lectures out there. But well, it's not like Hazel and Ayu are ordinary women. They're both sucky me, and they have incredible powers, not to mention amazing strength. I'm sure they'll be fine. At least I hope they are. Should I text them to see if they're right? Would that be overbearing? It's not like I'm their father. It's with these thoughts in mind that I exit my room. I'm still in my boxer shorts. I mean, I have to shower, then pull on my clothes, but I stop when I press pass. When I pass by the cramped kitchen, it's not empty after all. She's eating a banana. Oh, can't look at the girls as they eat. Never look at girls as they eat banana. Hazel is sitting at the table, one leg folded over the other. She's wearing her sports at Terry, and her long hair is pulled back. And a ponytail. She's brushing some of her loose hair aside with one hand, and her head is bowed. Her eyes are half lidded, and her lips are clam uh, about a banana. It's not every day I wake up seeing a pretty girl in my house sitting in my kitchen. Though I've since I first met Ayu, it started to become a semi-regular occurrence. All the same, I haven't quite gotten used to it. It's a lot to take in. Hey, Hazel, you're up pretty near, you're up pretty early. Oh, Hiroki. Hazel takes the banana out of her mouth and smiles at me. Her smile is so wide and warm. I can feel the stress simply melting off my shoulders. Good morning. It's nice to see you. That should be my line. You're looking good. Good in what way? Is she fishing for compliments? What a mix. Eh. <laughs> you look sexy. Healthy. Eh, I guess. He looks sexy. This should probably be this should probably go without saying. But well, I smile. I think you look pretty sexy right now. <sighs> what? Really? Ah oh, jeez. Hazel grins and takes another bite of her banana. Thanks a lot. You sure know how to perk a girl's spirits up. <laughs> Were you feeling unperky before I dropped by? Not really. I'm always giving it 101%, you know, but well, it's easier to get fired up when you're around. You're the best wingman there is. When you praise me, I feel like I can do anything, and I'll keep on doing it. Hazel grins at me, and I return it. There is something weighing on my mind, though. Say, Hazel, are you the only person here? That's right, why? Nothing real, I'm just wondering where Ayu went. I glance around the kitchen as though Japan's top idol might be hiding beneath the table or in one of the, of the cupboards. But of course she isn't. As far as I can see, it's just Hazel and I here. Oh, she left already for work. Huh, that sucks. She, she has a big concert coming up, and she has to rehearse for it. Speaking of which, I should probably get going myself. I had to head over to the Ukawa Sports Center so I can practice my swings. I'm cutting it pretty close. Looks like I'll probably be late. Hope Yuriko isn't too cross with me. <laughs> Has he been getting on your case lately? A little. She doesn't know that I've been spending time with you. I've tried to keep the secret. 
I think she's figuring out how to have another special with somebody I'm, I'm spending time with. She's kind of jealous with me like that. I, I told her before we started dating that our relationship wasn't exclusive. She said she was fine with me, but she's a pretty jealous person. And she couldn't stand sharing me. She wouldn't have said, she would have said so. Jeez. Hazel sighs. Humans are so weird and impulsive. I don't see what's wrong with spreading the love around. It's not like I was trying to trick her or anything. I'm always honest and upfront. I know you are. You don't play my games. That's one of the reasons why I like you so much. I think Hazel's the polar opposite of you. I always turn red and sputters when she has to say something even halfway nice. She even, she even she seems to have a great difficulty in, in articulating her real feelings, perhaps it's because she has been spent so much time wearing the artifice of a cute, sweet, simply idol. She's totally a dissonant though and through. Hazel, meanwhile, isn't one to mince words. She's always up front, so easy to hang out with. She's a lot more chilling than how you is, though they both have their own appeals. You hear you like me, huh? Hazel grins. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I like you a lot, a whole bunch too. Now that I've heard that, I feel like I can really give it my all today. In the gym, I'm going to work up a sweat all for you. Great. Do your best. I'll be ready for you. All right. Hazel takes another bite of her band and shoots me a grin. Who cares if your girl acts all pissy with me? I don't need her anyways. I've got you now, and you're the sweetest, most supportive boyfriend a girl could ever dream of. <laughs> now, before I go, I've got, I gotta give you something to remember me by. As if I could ever forget you. I know I'm pretty unforgettable, but just let me do this one thing. Hazel finishes her banana then darts to my side. Quick as a flash, she presses a kiss against my lip. I want to grab her clothes and kiss her back, but there isn't enough time. Hazel breaks the kiss, and glances at the clock, her face flush. Ah, as I've been hung out, hung about way too long, I really gotta get going. I'll see you later, have a good day at work. Yeah, see ya, have a good one. After I wave Hazel, as she dashes out of my apartment, the white pleats of her short skirt fluttering as she goes. The door slams, and there's silence. I'm alone again, in the past I used to spend pretty much all my time in my apartment alone, but the company of all these cues of me has spoiled me. The apartment's small though, it is. It feels much cozier, cozier than when it's filled with their excitable chatter. Hazel's barely been gone five seconds, and I miss her already. I press my fingers with my lips, savoring the warmth of her kiss, and I shake my head. There's no point in being a dolphin. It sucks that we can't spend more time together, but Hazel and I and the rest have been have busy schedules, they all have to go to work. Speaking of which, oh crap, I gotta go to work too! Their to look with Hazel in the kitchen was a brief as I thought. A good 15 minutes have been passed, and I'm still in my underwear. I need to get a shower stat. Will I ever have enough time for breakfast? There's no good, I'm going to be late. Whew! Gotta get to work. Safe. And this is the end of today's video, everyone. Today's episode of Sakura Succubus 3. So this is part one, or I'm call it episode one. And it's the end. So thank you everyone for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.